Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. Today is January the 6th, and I am making a note of that for a reason today. Um, I, let's see, in my video yesterday, I think I, I mentioned, um, that I'm having a, a bit of a, a roadblock or a period of not going anywhere. And without going back to my notes, it's been for about um, three days. Um, for sure. And it was um, on the 28th I was given um, a message that I, I didn't give to you guys because I knew that this was a part of also well, let me refrain from even going there. I didn't have full understanding. Okay? And it was three days. The universal field. I received a code as well. Um, a scroll was given. And that was... Um, I think on the 28th of December and I know that uh, that when I get a message about a time frame here unless I'm given a date a specific date it doesn't necessarily mean three days after the fact there is something that I have to go through or we have to go through in order to it for, for it to appear so perhaps you have been feeling this type of roadblock where you can't make sense of what you're going through um, where it kind of feels like man, what I have learned is completely gone or um, I'm not making a connection here. Nothing's making sense. What's going on? And that's how I've, I've kind of felt. Yet I felt a divine presence of love still. I still felt grounded. There was just something missing, and it's so hard to explain. Um, for three days, I felt that way until yesterday, so three days prior to that. And last night, I was laying there. I received a page full of information last night, and I was up at 4.44 this morning. Um, still receiving. And so I got out of bed. Um, but last night it clicked because I'm, I was beginning to add these messages together. You know, and sometimes that's what it takes. It takes me not being able to decode messages until at the right time everything can be placed together. Now, I don't know what video I, I talked about this in, and maybe I, I failed to. So I apologize for not remembering. And if I'm repeating myself, I apologize for that. I mentioned that we have, of course, our own solar plexus, which is our powerhouse. We receive light, of course, from the sun. 
and more specifically our central sun radiates light towards the sun and the sun radiates light in the form of solar wind or solar seeds. We pick these seeds up within our human form and it eventually makes its way into our solar plexus where it's kind of digested and information is therefore placed. Our solar plexus is our second brain, our gut reaction area. It is also um, where our immune system is resides and that's why they're throwing um up you hear lately it's been i forget how long we've been going through this phase of take probiotics to heal your gut etc um when we have a full functioning solar plexus we develop our own power and so a few days ago, I, I couldn't tell you this because I was, I just didn't know. I have actually been feeling very nauseous for the three day period as well. Just slightly off and on throughout the day, kind of like morning sicknesses. Because when the solar seed, again, when we receive the seed that is full of life, that has finally been planted, deeply rooted, where light and fire emit from. We, which is uh, of course the, the Holy Spirit, the Kundalini energy, um, the Christ within, takes residence within our solar plexus eventually now this is a time um, a process that when it is ready the seed will germinate implant within your solar plexus and that's what I I saw the huge solar flash solar seed went from my left vision through the womb of creation and out towards my right vision. I knew it, I knew exactly what it was and it looks like a sperm, an energy of sperm going into the ovum, the egg of a woman where it's planted. So, um, I still needed more information. Last night, uh, there is this power. And this is where it gets personal for me. I want you to first think in terms of being able to manifest. You could have knowledge. How do you turn that knowledge into creation? You have to have that spark, that element, the divine will that force that provides the essence, the material. You have to have Shakti. You have to have Kundalini. You have to have the Holy Fire, the Holy Spirit burning and fueling the ignition. Shakti is the feminine energy. 
which in Christianity is Jesus Christ. He is a representation of that feminine spark because he's associated with love. Yet the combination of his masculinity and his male form combines Shiva and Shakti into one human manifested form. Take Shiva. Think of it as consciousness. There's all kinds of information floating around in consciousness. But without the power, that fire, the womb of, Sh of Shakti, Shiva can do nothing. There's no creation. There's just dust and particles flying around. It takes both masculine and feminine, both divine energies, coexisting and working together to create an internal power within. That fire. The fire of passion, of love, of willpower to create. When we have, when we lack the ability to create the abundant life that we seek, and I'm not talking about wealth here, anything that gives us substance in our life, gives us meaning, it's because we are lacking that internal fire. Um, and so I thought I was going to start crying because of this. But I held my ground here. Because from where I come from in my past, being a woman, was in a weakened state, was part of the lower level of creation, therefore not needed, not worthy, unloved and unvalued. Um, I don't see it that way any longer. This journey has definitely made me find my own internal power, that spark that makes me realize that without me, without my energetic, feminine, beautiful, vibrant spirit, creation is impossible. The power of shock T will only take place when or the freedom of Shakti to live and reside within you can only take place when both of the um, masculine and energy masculine and feminine energies have united as one the nadis the ida and the pingala when those have finally made its way of course to your crown and have become crucified, intensified, and made its way through your brain. Merging with penal, pituitary, thalamus, and making its way back down your spinal column. Where the kundalini, 
the Shakti, the feminine energy resides and awakens her more. It mixes and flows where all the energies are becoming one. Um, and I think it's uh, about a little bit about Shakti is that uh, her symbol is the number six and her magic charms um, are the lotuses. She is a protection and helps with proper communication to be able to speak with purpose. Now, understand this. Shakti can work for you or against you. It is about, again, using what you already have within your knowledge and incorporating will into it. Every day we have that choice of expression. We'll be expressing within our own minds. We'll be expressing within our own hearts. We'll be expressing with our voice. When we choose proper expression, we are allowing this energy to move freely as it sees fit. Um, now I I'm going to make this video short today and um, as a result of the lengthy messages I received yesterday and just kind of feeling not really wiped out but the need to kind of still step back um, today is January 6th of course Shakti her number is number six so that's why I thought it was um, fascinating to do this video today I um, So when we are being conscious of our thoughts, we are using our masculine energy, that Shiva. When we are using um, more of that internal guidance and power, we are using Shakti. Combining the two creates a divine God, a divine being within human form. And that's exactly what, what God's message is. There's so much going in my mind, going through my mind right now about now the solar seed and what I received last night. Um, that, yeah, I definitely need to kind of step back here today. Um, for as long as I need to and make sense of everything. I mentioned in one of my other videos that you will have a smell. I hope you can pick up your scent. And last week, I noticed a change in my, my scent. And today, I have a different scent as well. Um... So I'm asking you to check that out. Again, back to January the 6th. And the release of the feminine energy here. She's rising throughout the collective. The collective is changing from that masculine-based 
more logical type of thinking, more structured and demanding to the feminine energy that is more free, always changing, always creating, and always loving. Stay conscious, aware of your thoughts. Stay conscious and aware of your emotions. Make them both match to the idea that you dream of and hope of. And in time, full creation will be possible. I have so much to come and talk to you guys about, and I am really excited about this. I am going to try and get lots of notes together um, for these upcoming videos so that I'm not all over the place. I And I can give proper information, of course. Um, and so in these videos, I may be reading off of my notes, and I hope you don't mind that. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.